Hi, Charlene from the Smart Coupon Lady. Welcome back to the channel and today, welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have a two, yes, two ingredient recipe for you for a pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins, whichever you prefer. So let's get started and I will show you what you need and how we get this going. <music> A two ingredient pumpkin bread or pumpkin muffins i've done this as pumpkin muffins today i'm going to do it as a pumpkin bread and it is literally two ingredients you need a box of the duncan heinz perfectly moist spice cake or really any spice cake this is the only one i've ever found this time of year it's easy to find this cake mix so i guarantee that um you'll find it pretty much in any store stock up though now because when it gets warmer out I had a harder time finding this. Um, and I do make this recipe throughout the entire year because it is that easy. Um, and it's actually pretty nutritious because you get a little bit of pumpkin in there. You also need a 15 um, ounce can of the pumpkin. This is also um, around a lot right now because of the Thanksgiving season. I have bought the larger can and split it in half and I've actually have frozen half of the can so that I had it on hand. Um, so those are just little tricks you can use, but that's literally all that you're going to need. I'm gonna take a loaf pan. This is just stained on there, so don't look at that. And I'm just gonna give it a good spray with some original canola spray. Okay, to my bowl, first thing I'm gonna add is all of my cake fix. Now, the key is all of these things on the back, ignore that. We are not taking part in any of those items. I'm going to, I'm gonna preheat my oven to 350 degrees. That's the only direction I'm taking off the back of this box. To my cake mix, I added my pumpkin. And that is it, that's all you need to do. Um, you're gonna stir it up real well. I actually mix it up with my mixer because it's just easier. And that's what it should look like when it's done. It's still a little bit lumpy. And now I'm gonna put it into the loaf pan. I am going to pop this into my 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes and then I'll check it. So I am a fool and I did not get a video of the final product. I am so sorry about that. So I made it into a pumpkin loaf. I think I would have stuck with the muffins. I've done both regular muffins and mini muffins. I think I like the regular muffins the best, but of course that's per personal preference. This is a great recipe to have on hand, especially this time of year. If you have company popping over and you need a quick dessert, or if you wanna add it to your holiday breakfast, it is easy and simple to keep in the house. I've been trying to keep these ingredients in my house because I've been trying to make muffins, a grab and grow muffin for my kids in the morning when they don't have time for breakfast. I have teenage girls. So on Sunday night, when I don't feel like pulling everything out to make a big batch of muffins, I always have this as a go-to so that they have muffins in the morning. I will add the recipe and the instructions in the description box below, although there's not much to it. And that's gonna wrap up this video. So thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one.